you see that that is an update ladies and gentlemen good news today i gotta say that apple has finally did it after four weeks you know it's been four weeks since we last saw the last ios 13.6 update and today apple has released ios 13.6.1 that is the update that my iphone x that you see here is updating to so if you are excited for ios 13.6 updates and also iphone updates definitely hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the latest content that we have for you so this is available to all ios 13 supported devices and you don't need a beta profile this is not a beta this is the official release version from apple so let's just wait for it to finish updating and then i'll show you everything that you need to know also i'll show you whether you should update or not and yeah let's quickly get into it okay so our device is actually done updating and i gotta say that that took a short time and for me let's just see the update size as you can see my device is up to date and i have ios 13.6.1 so if we go to see the update size that this update came in for me it came in at around 100 mbs so this is the average update size because the iphone x is a mid range device that supports ios 13.6.1 so if you have a device that is older than this like the iphone 6s then definitely it's going to be smaller but if you have a device that's higher than the iphone x then it's going to be slightly bigger perhaps around 120 mbs to 150 mbs but this is the average update size for ios 13.6 and then if we go to see the software changes let's just go to settings and then go to the about section you can see that the software version that we have here is 17g 80 and then the modern firmware version that we have here is 3.05.00 so modern firmware hasn't been updated and then if we go to the storage section here let's just go to iphone storage it just takes a moment to load right if we go all the way down to where it says system you can see that for me system is taking up 6.52 when i was on ios 13.6 it was also taking 6.5 and you can see that system storage has remained small and this is the average system storage that you should be seeing when you update to ios 13.6.1 now when it comes to other storage it just takes a moment to update and as you can see for me here it's calculating that took like almost a full minute to show or completely calculate how much other storage is taken up and if you're on ios 13.6 and other storage was taken up like 8 or 10 gig then keep an eye on it as there's a fix with this ios 13.6.1 and as you can see the first issue that was actually addressed has to do with uh, unneeded system data files being deleted automatically so if you had low storage on ios 13.6 then some of your files could be deleted automatically but that has been fixed and also quite a number of users are reporting a reduction in the size of the other storage here so if you go to my other storage there you can see that i don't have anything it has completely cleared my other storage and basically other storage includes catch logs and other resources so for me after updating and also before updating it basically said zero kbs and it remains zero kb so that's good this ios 13.6 fixes storage issues so if your system files were like 10 or so gigs then you should get some storage back and see this improvement now the next change that this ios fixes it fixes thermal management issues that cause some display to exhibit a green tint and so basically some users were experiencing issues when it comes to 13.6 whereby you know if you would connect your device to a charger right and then you remove the charger you would notice you know just like how you see when you enable night shift here right you get this yellowish color on the display but there was a bug on ios 13.6 whereby the display would turn greenish when you connect your device to a charger and then you remove it from the charger or when you would reduce your brightness to like somewhere so low like that right so there was a bug like that and with ios 13.6.1 you can see that this is a bug that has been fixed also this bug fixes issues where exposure notification could not be displayed for some users so if you know ios 13.6 we got a new uh, exposure notification 
and if you go into the settings and then go to privacy right there and then go to where it says health here you can see that we have exposure logging and by default you can see that this is turned off so some users could not see this menu upon going into settings and privacy and if this is an issue that you're basically seeing when it comes to 13.6 then check again after updating you should be able to see this menu that says COVID-19 exposure logging and if you are in a country that is currently undergoing tests like the UK or Canada where they are testing exposure applications then with time you'll be able to actually turn this option on and your phone will be able to alert you whether you've come into contact with someone so that's something that has also changed with iOS 13.6.1 this update also fixes a bug whereby if you're using third-party apps, let's say Netflix or anything like that, and then you go into the app and um, without typing anything, right? You would notice that sometimes the keyboard would pop up by itself, right? But with this iOS 13.6.1, that has actually been fixed. And with this update, let's just look at the battery performance that I have here. So if I go into settings and then go to the battery section and go to where it says battery health you can see that i have 87 percent of my maximum health capacity and with ios 13.6 i actually didn't have any major complaints when it comes to battery performance let's look at this day here for example you can see that i had eight hours uh, and eight minutes screen on time and two hours 15 minutes screen off time and that was basically using like 130 percent of the battery so that was charging the phone to full and charging it again to 30 percent and also let's see like the day prior you can see i had about six hours uh screen on time with six hours screen off time and that was basically using 80 percent of this device so basically when it comes to battery performance my device has been performing quite well and now let's look at the geekbench scores you know those are important that we check you can see that for single core i have 919 and for multi-core i have 2444 so if you compare this with ios 13.6 you can see that i had 927 for single core and for multi-core i had 2471 so more or less the same in terms of cpu performance now when it comes to gpu performance let's just see the scores that i have here on 13.6.1 you can see that i have 4217 and if you compare that with ios 13.6 you can see that it's a major improvement in terms of graphics performance so it's an improvement of a factor that is more than 200 so that is good and you can see that ios 13.6.1 is improved in terms of performance so you can see the iphone x average here and you can see the score that i have on my iphone x here after updating to ios 13.6.1 so no complaints in terms of performance and in terms of battery life i really hope that um, when i do the follow-up video after two or three days performance continues to be great on ios 13.6.1 on my iphone x now there is a bug that is currently known with this update and it was actually found by proton vpn and they actually haven't mentioned or fixed the bug that has to do with vpn so if you use vpn and you send sensitive data from time to time then you know your vpn might not encrypt all files so that is an issue that still needs to be addressed and apple didn't mention anything when it comes to fixing that so hopefully they fix it soon and whether you should update or not i really think that you should update especially if you're on ios 13.6 and are experiencing storage issues and display issues seeing all the green tint issues that this update fixes and also this update comes with quite a number of security updates running in the background so it does come with improved battery life so many people are reporting battery life already within the first three hours and also wi-fi connection is most stable and bluetooth is working normal and also the control center right it's working as it's supposed to there's no delay when pulling up the control center and also gps and cell data is working as it's supposed to so i really think you should update especially if you are facing most of the issues that are resolved here and this update isn't going to break your device this is safe and most people are already reporting positive feedback so when it comes to a follow-up update which could possibly be ios 13.6.2 we can expect it perhaps after two weeks then if we don't see it 
either between the 24th to the 28th of August, then we'll see it in the first or second week of September, most likely in the first week of September. So that's when we expect to see a follow-up update to this, depending on, of course, how many issues people have after updating to this iOS 13.6.1. And then when it comes to a possible release date for iOS 14 beta 5, both public beta and developer beta, we could see it as early as Thursday this week, so as early as tomorrow. And if that does not happen, then it's definitely going to come out next week between the 17th to the 21st of August. So that's when we expect to see iOS 14 beta 5. Basically, that's about it for me, guys, when it comes to a small video of iOS 13.6.1. If you like this video, please leave a like and hit subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you very soon in the next video. Peace.